Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Daniel Allah coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha Hagudash, the honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. It's Shalom to the hopeful elect brethren who are teaching this word in sincerity and in truth, and for uh, those uh, brothers and sisters who are helping the ministry. To you, I say Shalom. Um, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High. Okay, unto Yahweh thy power, Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so I just wanted to start off with that scripture because, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, in transit, but I wanted to get a scripture in here, you know, as I'm uh, riding to my destination, headed to the plantation. But um, basically, I read that scripture because... That's proof right there, you know, basically that the Most High is a racist, man, okay? Yeah, and I said it, he's a racist, okay? And a lot of you, a lot of you, you damn uh, uh, niggas don't, don't want to hear that, man. You want to keep believing that the Lord died for everybody, right? When the Lord didn't die for everybody, okay? You want to, you want to keep believing in that, all right? You know? Because hey, you 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 have Stockholm syndrome, man. Okay, if if, if Massa can't make it, <laughs> you know, if uh, Mas Massa should be uh, included in everything, man. All right, when well, he had you in slavery, man. Okay, so you know, the Most High is a racist, right? It said, it said what above all people, all people. Now when you go into the word racist. And Lord willing, if the Lord keep the, the spirit on me, I'll, I'll, I'll go in depth on these different words in another video today. Um, uh, Lord willing, you know, when you go into that word uh, uh, um, uh, uh, race, it goes back to what? A nation. Okay. A group of people that are of the same genus, right? Who are born from the same, you know, uh, person. Because when you look in the scriptures, uh, all the nations you see today, there was a there was a progenitor, okay, a man, okay, who who uh, basically started that nation, who started the nation of Israel, Jacob, who started the nation of E, <laughs> right, of Edom, Esau, okay, who started uh, uh, the nation of uh, uh, of of uh, um, you know the the, the Ishmaelites, Ishmael. Okay, so on and so forth. So, you know, when you add, so you got race, which is a nation, but when you add, uh, 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 or, or when you add uh, uh, a um, that that suffix is, okay, what does it make it? The suffix is makes it, uh, 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 you know, it, it, it refers to a person, right? It says uh, so, someone who, who advocates for, okay, or is enthusiastic about a particular thing. I give you examples. You have a bicyclist. He's enthusiastic about bikes, okay. Um, you have an arborist, right? The word arbor uh, comes from it, it, it's the, it, it means tree. You know, I remember that from Spanish, which is arbol, okay, which Spanish and Italian and. Uh, Portuguese and French, those are all Latin languages. So uh, really it's most likely uh, Spanish from Latin. Right, but an arborist, he's what? He's enthusiastic about trees, specifically cutting down trees, okay? So a, a scientist, there's another one, right? A person who's enthusiastic about what? Knowledge, because the word science means knowledge or to know, all right? Um, so, with that being said, the Lord is a racist, okay? And um, basically that is a person who is enthusiastic about his own race, okay? About his own people. We are the Lord's people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the people of the Lord, all right? And his name is Yahweh, okay? Not Jehovah. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, okay? So, 
you know, and, and the Lord, the Messiah, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, like I said, and he's a, he's a racist too, man, okay, he said what, I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he tells his disciple what, go not into the, 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 uh, the city of the Gentiles or any city of the Samaritans, but go ye unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay, it said what? He came to die for the sins of his people, man. So the Lord is a racist also. He's enthusiastic about his own people. He cares about his own people. Right? The Lord himself is an Israelite. Okay? Now, he will take this and put a, a, a negative uh, connotation on that, man. Making it seem like, uh, uh, put a, a negative vibration on that. Right? They'll call you a nationalist, which is basically saying a racist. They'll call you a nationalist. You know, actually, you know what? When E displays enthusiasm about his own race, they call them nationalists, right? But when we, when we're enthusiastic about our own race, they call us what? Racist, man. Which has even more, okay, uh, negative vibration on it, man. That's the deception of E, man. Changing the meaning of words, uh, 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 basically polluting them, defiling them. From uh, their original meaning And that's why you have to know the meaning of words man Okay So yeah hey Being a racist is only is, is only smart man To care about your own people Right Hey and you know I was listening to um, um, the, the elder uh, The elder uh, uh, Yash, Yashawamba Okay He um, Yashawamba He uh, uh, you know did a video Uh going into how uh, be, uh, be, being pilgrims upon the earth, man. And, you know, he basically pointed out how, uh, 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 you know, in the ancient world, all the, <laughs> you know, racism was was uh, 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 at, at, its at its finest, basically. You know, all these nations were, were <laughs> who would take over, they would fight each other, man. It was it was it was it was basically grand uh, uh, race wars if you want to think about it, man. Grand race wars, man. They would fight each other for territory, for resources, man. To conquer to conquer each other, and, and whoever would lose, man, uh, those people from them nations would have to serve unto them and be uh, uh, tributaries, man. So what you mean? Racism, racism is in the scriptures, man. Okay, a person. Advocating for his own nation is in the scriptures. That's why nations went to war, man. That's one of the reasons why nations went to war, man. Okay, they wanted to better their nation and forward their kingdom and forward their people. All right, and the, the heavenly Father and His Son wants to better His nation. Okay, and forward His people. And we're gonna see that hot. We're gonna see that hostile take over when the when the chariots come, man. You know, but. Hey, but when, when you uh, back into that Deuteronomy 7 where it says, you have cho I, uh, 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 I've chosen thee to be a holy people, man. Separate, man. Separated. Separated from all the rest. All right? But what another scripture says what? Uh, for Israel, mine elect. Talking about the nation. Elected out of all the nations, man. Chosen out of all the nations. So you mean to tell me the Lord is not a racist? You know? And a lot of, like I said, a lot of Negroes won't, you know, so-called black men, they, they don't, they don't want to hear that, okay? They think the white man is, is their friend, okay? Especially you, 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 the so-called black woman, man. You think the white man is your friend, okay? Y'all think the white man is your God, man. And that's why the Lord's going to destroy a lot of you. Right, but um, you know, I just want to do a, a quick in transit because, you know, uh, you know, I wanted to do this topic yesterday, but I didn't. You know, and I woke up this morning, and the spirit hopped on me to do it. You know, uh, uh, right before uh, I was headed out to go to the plantation, man. Right, but hey, the Lord is for His people only. He's not for anybody else. Hey, another, so it's like, another scripture says what? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter um, 
Yeah, Second Ezra's chapter. Uh, uh, what is it? Second Ezra's uh, chapter. Chapter. Um, um, Salakia. Chapter six. Okay. When you get it by around about the uh, the fifty third verse, it says what? It says as for the other people that also come with Adam. Thou said they are nothing. So talking about the other nations, man. Okay, the the sons of, of, of men, because there was a chosen seed out of out of the, uh, the 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 Adamites, okay, so to speak. Right? There was a chosen seed. Okay. And and you know, everyone else that wasn't of that chosen seed, basically the heathen, alright, the sons of men and the sons of the wicked, okay. The Lord didn't care about them. You know? It says, as for the other people that come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be as spittle, okay, and liken unto a, 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 a drop that falleth from a vessel, man. What does that mean? Spittle is something you cast out of your mouth because you don't need it. It has no value to you, so it doesn't stay in the body, okay? And then uh, 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 a drop that falleth from a vessel, man, okay? The part that drops like a, a little drop man that has you're not really worried about that if it falls out of the vessel man right but the uh, the thing that you really worried about is the rest of the water that's in there man okay the water that's in the pill is the is the nation of israel man unto the lord okay the water that dropped out on the ground is a, is the mother nations man that's that spittle upon the ground so they're nothing man okay they're nothing to the most high Okay, the Lord only cares about his people. Right? What uh, uh what, what the scripture say, man? It say uh, uh, uh that the Lord is faithful, man. <laughs> he will yet choose Israel. And that might be another scripture. Right? I I what is what's it say? I the Lord Yahweh, and this is the Heavenly Father saying this. Okay, I the Lord Yahweh change not. So does his son. He doesn't change not, he doesn't change at all. Yahweh shy. Okay, therefore ye sons of Israel are not consumed, man. So we, the Lord still cares about his nation, man. And at the end, all you nations is gonna see, man. Okay, and uh, you know, I wanna just end it off there. Uh, once again, you know, all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Arakak Wadash, the born to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.